Steve, uh, a great 3-0 win against uh, probably the National League favourites. Um, how do you feel after that? I felt, um, you know, I felt good after Stockport, to be honest with you. But obviously, we didn't, we didn't finish the chances off that we had. We, did, we didn't have the finishing uh, touches in the final third. Um, and that came together today on top of a very good performance without the ball. So, yeah, I mean, as I've said all along, you know, the, we've got 14, 15 new players. It doesn't, it doesn't click straight away. It may not click, you know, the first game of the season. You know, it may take us two or three games into the season. But from what I saw today, you know, that, that's. Um, that certainly, um, that certainly made me think we're certainly going in the right direction with the squad that we've got. Yeah. And Keel um, seems to be the, the right sign. Excuse the pun. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's again. He's one of the ones we, we had to be patient with. We had a we had a very clear picture in our head of what type of players we wanted, um, and you know, Aki's uh, Aki was one of the last signings that we got across the line. Um, I think you saw when Brownie came on as well that he, he just gives us that little bit more. Uh, physicality and aerial prowess and, and he can pass the ball great as well so we've given ourselves good options now you know there's, there's a couple of lads not here um, but the lads every single player I got on the pitch today even young Alex Woolerton you know who's um, I asked him to go on and do a specific job and he and he done it to the letter and he ended up nicking a goal out of it so I'm pleased for him Rion Potts um, went and led the line when I asked him to take the, you know, take the physical side of it on that Cass had done so yeah I mean lots to be lots to be pleased about Goal, you know, shoot from a distance, not afraid to pull the trigger. Um, was that something you instilled in the team uh, this week? Just, you know, shoot on sight. Yeah, I mean that was lacking a little bit last week. Um, but if you look at, you know, if you look at the goals, you know, Akil is exactly what what we knew he could do. Um, we knew he could arrive in the box. We knew he could um, he could head a ball. He can climb. Um, so that that was really satisfying that that happened. The, the two wing backs were high, very high in the first half where I wanted them, getting trying to get on the end of each other's crosses, if you like. Um, Ollie Dyson was just in there, sort of dropping bombs, and, and he could have he could have had two or three opportunities. He probably just made slightly the wrong decision at times. Cass with a great finish from Ollie, um, and then they keep had to pull off two or three really good saves second half as well. So. Um, Ultimately, just just you know, the, maybe the ideal game to finish off the pre-season with. Yeah, you've had a you know a proper away day set up today on, on the coach, um, you know, full um, experience. How, how good is that experience for the players coming into the new season? Yeah, it just feels like. You know, it just feels like football's back a little bit when you when you get on the coach and you have a bit of eat and you have a bit of crack on the bus and um, and you turn it with a you know a great away ground and fantastic pitch. Um, but you know. We don't know what's going to happen regarding football, so I know the FA Cup game will go ahead next week. We're really looking forward to that, and you know they have set the standards now. How I want them to, how I want them to approach the FA Cup game is how I want, how, I, how they approach today. So hopefully that'll uh, that'll be the case. So I'm finally looking ahead to Warrington Rivals, um, another big chance to build that with a uh, this season. It is um, very important, you know. There's. Um, the, cup, the FA Cup, you know, it's a great competition. You know, we're, we're one of the teams that you know taken very, very seriously, um, as everybody should. Um, and you know, I know they had a great result against Whitby. Funny enough, I, I, you know, the guy who owns the club's my old agent, Paul Stretford. <laughs> so I've already had a little bit of banter over the phone. Um, but I know the type of side that they, they, they've got: uh, very energetic, very fit, very aggressive, uh, all action. And it'll be a tough game if we don't approach it correctly. Um, so, part of the, you know, one of the main things I'll be doing this week is, 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 is giving them your full focus, uh, as you should do with every game.